Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces- Whoa! <laughs> what the- what the heck just happened? Welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our steam train. As you guys can see, this one isn't pulling all of the carriages that we've built so far. It has the birth cannon, and it also has this one, uh, which is like a little cargo car. Um, but what we're gonna do today is build an armored car. So, what I mean by that is it's gonna have a turret on it with a gun, and, uh, it's gonna be a car. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okie dokie. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide which kind of car we want to use in order to make this work, and the one that I'm thinking we do use is actually probably one of these carriages. So, let's go straight to one of these, go ahead and destroy everything on the top of this, and we can go from there, pretty much. So, grab all of this, all the way out this way, even these guys, all the way up to the tippity top. All the way out the side, and all the way along. This is actually pretty crazy. There is a lot to this. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. <laughs> so that, that's it. There you go. We've cut it off. Excellent. Let's go ahead and delete all of these guys. They're fully unnecessary. We don't need them. So get rid of all of those, and there we go. This is the kind of car, or this is the length of car, that I think would be great for this. So hopefully, it works. Okie dokie, so let's do this on both sides. We're actually going to go ahead and delete all of this right here, and we're going to go ahead and delete it all the way to the front as well. We're then going to go ahead and grab these guys, send them all the way backwards like so, and that's going to be all right. Yes, we're going to go ahead and delete this in the middle, uh, so that these guys are free moving, uh, because they kind of need to be, so there you go. Anyway, pivots. Yes, go ahead and grab these, smash them in there, merge this with this, that is all we need to do. Go to the other end, do the same thing, smash that in there, merge this with this. There we go. So this is currently what it looks like. Oh, we can do something good with this. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and grab this color, go ahead and grab this paintbrush, and uh, paint these guys, because clearly they need painting straight away. Uh, and now all we need to do is sort this out. I, I don't genuinely know uh, how I want it to look in the end, but um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is tricky. Okie dokie, so there are a few ways of actually going about this. What I'm gonna do is delete these guys on this side all the way to there. We're gonna delete all of this all the way down, which is a little bit insane, but there you go. Uh, and we're gonna delete those all the way around. We're gonna try and make this as armored as possible in terms of the way that it looks. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go bring this out this way. We're then gonna go ahead and bring it out one more time. And we're gonna go ahead and slap this guy directly on here like this. I know it's quite far out, but that is... Um, Kind of where we want it to be, so that's a-okay. We're then going to go ahead and send these guys, so it is a straight line, that's a-okay as well. And I think we're going to go ahead and try and attach these to here, sort of like this, to give it a little bit more of an armoured look as well. Yeah, okay, sick. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually grab these guys on the top, and we're going to delete this right here, delete this right here, and this one. We're going to go from there, all the way across there. That is all right, yes. We're then going to do the same thing down here as well. So let's do it from, ooh, is it from here? I don't think it's there. I actually think it's here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay, we just need to grab one of these, slap it on there so that it looks all right, and we can go with that. Let's go ahead and grab this guy as well. Delete this one, smack that in there, and do the same thing right here. Delete this, whack it in there, and that is great. Yeah. Oh, it turns out I've deleted something important. <laughs> Let's go and fix that back together. There we go. Smash that on there. Excellent. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Delete that piece. Turn it around. Smash it on there. Merge these guys together. And that is all we need. Yeah. Oh, good. So far, so good. Okay, so I guess the interesting thing about this is that we need to have enough room for the gun. I feel like I do want two guns on this as well. Um, but I also want it to be angled inwards uh, from the sides, at least the sides. I was thinking the top as well, but I think I think the sides is actually enough. So if we do that right there and we send it all the way to the rear, we then do the same sort of thing at the back as well. There we go. Um, I think this could work out, maybe. All right, send it all the way down at the end. There we go. Do it again from here all the way across to here as well. And yeah, I don't know quite how I feel about this. I don't know whether it's a little bit odd doing it this way or whether it's fine. I, I'm not sure. Um, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the end. Okay, so let's say that this is how we have it. Let's go to the inside. Can we stand up in here? Yes, just about. And then the guns will go on top of this. So what we need to do is uh, bring it up a little bit more. Uh, I think we'll do it with this, actually. So we should be able to get away with doing this across the top. There we go. Uh, getting ourselves a tank. Oh, I don't know what they're actually called. Like a sleeve? 
No. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. We're going to have to try and find it anyway. So, these guys. A turret ring. Yes, of course that's what it's called. Um, here we go. Like a medium one? Might fit in between there? It doesn't quite. But we can do something with this. Ah, yeah. No, we can totally do something with this. Um, okay, so. Let's move this backwards a little bit. There we go. Uh, try and smash this into there. Probably around that little location there. There we go. That doesn't look too bad whatsoever. Go ahead and put it on there. Turn it around so it's actually facing forwards. And... I think that's fine by me. <laughs> I, I, I think that is actually fine by me. There we go. So I don't know how far back that is. About four. So we need to do the same thing right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Go ahead and smash that on there. The exact same as the other side. Um, actually, I'm not quite right with that, but I'm very close. So on here. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And we want it obviously here instead. So do this. Attach this guy onto the... Um, yeah, <laughs> mm, so that's not quite right, you see. That is not quite right, because this bit's supposed to be able to spin. Ah, that is interesting. I don't, I don't know what to do in that situation. Um, I'm going to delete these guys really quickly. Delete these guys really quickly. And we're going to attach these guys to here like this. Because honestly, this looks good. We'll leave it like that, and that's fine. Um, we need to sort out the rest of it too. So let's whack this in here. There we go. Whack this in here. Attach these guys together right there on the front, and do this right here as well. And then I think we'll have a little bit more of a bump in the middle, just so we can walk up and down a little bit easier. Alright, so now that I'm actually thinking about this, uh, I feel like the entire thing is just a little bit too big. So we're going to go from here, uh, because we can, all the way to the end, again, because we can. All the way up to here as well, and all the way out to the sides, yes, all the way down to there too. Uh, and essentially, we're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and cut it. Alright, so, cut this. Ah, uh, it's not quite grabbed everything. It's not quite grabbed everything. Alright, there we go. Now cut it. Okay, excellent. We're going to move this backwards a good chunk. To about there. There we go. Paste that in there. Very good. Turn it around. Move it to the other side. There we go. Go ahead and cut this as well. And move it this way. To there? I think that's right. <laughs> like, honestly, I think that's okay. So merge those guys together, merge these guys with these guys, figure out what's going on down here and sort it, and then we can go from there. Yeah, okay, because uh, I didn't need it to be actually as long as we, we made it, but there you go. So it's quite small in terms of the interior on it, but uh, that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. So let's get ourselves a hatch. We're going to go ahead and slap this in on both the front and the back. I'm going to delete that right there, and if I can, I want to obviously slap it into there. That's... That's nice, I think that works. We're then going to go to the other side, delete this, and delete this, yes. Go ahead and shove these guys into here like this, and again, that is fine. Okay, so, um, what colour do we actually want this to be? I genuinely don't know, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and, I, I guess, jug. Uh, the colour on the outside, make it this colourish. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Do it on the front, do it on the sides, do it all the way down, and do it on this end too. That's it. That's kind of all we need. We're also going to do it from the top and from the top right there. And that is fine. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's about the right color, I think. Let's want it in. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Cool. Okie dokie then. How do we actually build a gun onto this? I, I don't know. Uh, generally, I'm not very good at building guns. So this is going to be kind of tricky for me. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this uh, first of all. Get ourselves a pivot. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and slap it onto here. I guess we actually want to go from the side, don't we? So let's slap that right there, delete this one in the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these guys and put it on there like this. Delete this right here and, I don't know, sort it out from there. So essentially the gun itself, uh, cannon, is going to go somewhere on here. I, I think it's going to have to be a battle cannon. Um, but again, I'm not actually sure. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it might have to be a battle cannon. Also, can I actually just attach this to the inside of there? It's not letting me do it. Nah. Okay, so what if we go with, like, a heavy auto cannon then? I, I don't know whether that works either, but maybe. So, um, we might have to try and use this. I, I genuinely don't know, though. Do we keep that or do we not keep that? How high does it actually have to be able to aim as well is the other question. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I am thinking battle cannon, but I'm really not sure. So, let's try it to begin with. Uh, we'll slap it directly onto there. We'll go ahead and grab this, and this, go ahead and cut it, there we go, move it forwards, 
And I think we can have it around here. There we go. So, um, we will grab these, send it across the front like this, merge this with this, and there we go. So now when we want to aim the gun, we get ourselves a handle. Uh, I don't know whether we want a handle to do this, actually. I don't know what the best way of doing this is. Um, <laughs> genuinely have no idea, but let's go ahead and slap this into here somewhere. Let's say... I can't actually attach it onto there. That's annoying. Okay, well, what we can do, actually, is just go, like, one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six. There we go. Grab one of these. And attach it onto there. Delete this guy. And we should be able to get away with doing WNS for this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're running around in here. We go inside, and we go... Oh, no, I need to shoot. Uh, is infinite electricity on? It is. <laughs> I can't actually aim up and down. Now I'm very confused, actually. Hold on. Do, 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 do. That is connected. It is. Uh, the turret ring itself, rotation speed, will go in A and D. That is WNS. I mean, it doesn't need electricity because infinite electricity is on. Um, we're also going to give this zero power. And this one, zero power. Okay, go back in. Let's see if this works again. Oh, because it's not connected to anything. Okay, uh, merge this. Oh, no. I'm now I'm extremely confused. There we go. Okay, now it should work. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was very strange. Anyway, let's get on the gun. Aim up and down. There we go. So it does aim up. And it also aims down a little bit. Shouldn't. And then we can also actually turn it around. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So, uh, now that we've got this sorted then, let's go ahead and disable this. We're going to delete that guy right there. And that is going to be mighty fine. We're then going to go around the outside of this. Because I believe we should. So we're going to do something like this. There we go. Um, I do want to be doing this on both sides, actually. So whack that on there like that. Grab one of these. Whack it in there. Do this around the outside. Grab another one of these guys. Smash it under here like this. And go around the side of that, too. Bam. There we go. Is there anything else that we really need? I don't know. <laughs> I actually... I don't know. Um, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, sure. Then we'll do something like this as well. Yep. It's still able to move and stuff, so that's all good. Let's put that right there. And we'll actually seal it off around the outside, kind of. So we'll do this. There we go. And then I think we need something on the top of this too. So instead of it stopping there, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Seal it off like so. And we'll leave it like that. I don't think that looks too terrible. <laughs> I don't think it looks too terrible at all. But if I do this, what does that look like? Also, I don't know why there's a gap here. I can't fill that in. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what we think of it actually in the game. I mean, it works. We can still aim and shoot it, so I, I think that's fine. All right, delete these guys, and we'll leave it like that for now. Or should we add one of these? I think we should actually add one of those as well, and uh, to me, that actually looks mighty fine. Um, I'm going to delete these guys too. We're going to delete that one as well and do this. And then I think we can get away with just doing this down the back end too. So that's there. This is here. That's it. Oh, and, 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 I'm going to add a uh, end to the battle cannon as well. Because I feel like it needs one. Uh, I don't know which one we want, but I think something like this. So, technically, now, if I wanted to go ahead and do another one of these, we'd go ahead and grab all of this on the top. Go ahead and copy it. There we go. Move it backwards onto this one. Have it still pointing forwards. Uh, merge this with this, and essentially, all of the connections on it will go to the same places. So that's going to go to there, and this is going to go to here, and they'll do the exact same thing as each other. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one, aim up, there we go, aim sideways, there we go, and aim the other way as well, there we go as well. Yes, okay, this is kind of interesting. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do then is actually whack these guys in here like this. Go ahead and send a roof across the end as well. Uh, we'll actually shove this guy on here as well, just the same way. And we'll seal it up just like so. And there we go. Okay. It's very odd, but it does work. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is actually go to the battle cannon ammunition. And we're going to store lots of it down the side. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this to all of them. High explosive on all of them. And then we'll copy and paste it. It'll go the length of the vehicle. And that should be good. 
Okie dokie, I don't know what else to do with this, so we'll just go ahead and try and work out some other things as well. Considering it is so, like, boring on the sides, uh, we need to actually do a lot with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this guy down here, all the way to the bottom, there we go. We're gonna do the same thing on this end, because, I don't know, I feel like it should be the same all the way around. I love my symmetry, it's always good. Uh, we're then gonna do these guys all the way around too, and we'll do the same on the other end. There we go, again, all the way around. There we go. Anything else that needs to be done? Probably this, and all the way down to the other end as well, just like so. Um, and then, I'm actually going to go ahead and drag this, this colour, drag that, that colour as well. Do the same here, and the same here, and that's all good. Okie dokie, so, I've gone ahead and put these rocket boosters on the top. I don't actually know why, so don't ask, but there you go. Uh, a hatch is also going to be added to the ceiling as well. Again, don't ask. Uh, I don't know why I've done it, but I have, so there you go. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and shove that on there like so. There we go. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. Um, in fact, delete all of these guys like so. Go ahead and spin this around. Smash it onto there like that. And that is A-OK. -okay. Alright, cool. Grab these guys, put it in there. And um, we're going to paint it. Because we always paint things. There you go. And there you go. Okay, rails! Uh, these guys definitely add something to, to vehicles, so we're going to go ahead and smash a bunch of these guys on here as well. Let's go ahead and whack those in there, turn them around, smack them in here as well, and that works out fine. We're actually going to do it one more time here. There we go, and one more time on this side. And then we're going to do these guys into there, and into there, and that'll be fine. Okay, should we add some sort of weird cupola, I guess? So, window? Yes, okay. Um, one by three. How much space do we have in the middle? I think that's about right, so let's go ahead and smash this in here. Go ahead and... I mean, it could just be a box. <laughs> that is true. We could actually just do this. Delete all the middle section. Just like that. And then have it go on the top. Ah, this won't actually be such a bad idea, actually. So let's go ahead and smash those onto there. Um, then go backwards. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then go forwards. And then do this across here. Like this, and this will be our commander's cupola thingamabobby, right there in the middle. Okay, so, uh, the next thing that I think we should have is a camera, so that we can actually see what each of these guns are actually seeing in themselves. So we're going to go ahead and shove this uh, actually on the gun themselves, and we're going to go ahead and do that right there. We're going to do the same thing on this one. And we're going to shove this guy right here again, okay, obviously. And then we're going to go to this. And we need monitors in order to actually see what we are shooting at. Two by twos. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and whack that right there like so. Okay. Uh, video. This one's going to be the front one. This one's going to be the back one. And that's kind of all we need to know. Yeah. We also need our trigger, which is going to be spacebar, uh, to actually do the trigger. And also to do the trigger on this one. And then what we need is an actual button to open the breach. So, a button is a good idea. Let's go ahead and smack that in right there. And right there as well. Is this toggle? Hopefully it is. Yeah, nice. Okay, so connect this to the breach to open the breach. Connect this to the breach to open the breach. Spawn it in. Let's go ahead and try and reload the gun. And we'll go from there. Let's go. All right, how do I even get into this? All right, jump on this. Jump up. In we go. There we go. Go ahead and close this up too. For some reason I can't. Oh, there you go. Grab one of these. Open the breach. Load it in. Close the breach. Run to the other end. And do the same thing. Open breach. Close breach. And because there's only one of me, they're only going to get shot at the same time. But Oh, the, the, these don't work either, but that's okay. So, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, so, uh, the reason the monitors don't work is because they were never turned on. So, is there like a seat occupied? There is. Bam, bam. Nice. Okay, so, what I want to do is actually grab these colors right here, and I want to paint a little bit more. So, the end is actually going to be gray. The end on this side is also going to be gray. And then I'm going to go underneath and do all of that, do all of these, do all of these guys, and they're all going to be gray as well. So, on in, what does that look like? Yeah. A little bit weird. It does. But it's okay. Okay, so in order to actually give myself a little bit more detail on the sides, we're actually going to go ahead and delete these all the way down. There you go. We're going to go ahead and shove in uh, some rocket booster motor thingamabobbies. Fuel. Here we go. That's going to go all the way down to there. Then we're going to delete these guys and do this too. Again, adds a little bit of detail. That's all we need. 
We're going to drag this guy in, drag this guy in, leave these ones as they are. That's fine. Okay, next thing is to go underneath, grab ourselves a door. Uh, these guys, door frame edge. Go ahead and shove this on here like this, send it all the way down, and that should look quite pretty. It should, it should actually look really good, this. Uh, delete that one, shove it on there like this. Obviously, there's a bit of a gap in the middle, but that's okay. Delete these guys, attach these guys on, and go. Yeah, it definitely adds a lot of detail to it, which is something that we definitely needed. Okay, so uh, I guess we can leave the, tur the, the turrets themselves just as they are. I, I don't know whether I can add more detail to the front of these to make them look nicer. I'm just not very good at that for some reason, but there you go. Uh, what I will do is attach these guys to here, and I'll go to the other side and do the same thing right there, because that adds a little bit of detail. Uh, and then realistically, I wouldn't actually mind some little like viewports out of here for gunners to shoot out of. Um, whether they are, like, machine gunners, or whether they are just, I don't know, little gunners themselves, um, with their own little rifles or whatever, I think that would be sick. So, what we'll do is we'll delete one of these, uh, right there, delete one of these right here, and we'll seal these up using these guys, just like so. There we go, down to there, down to there, do this one, do this one, that's fine, do this one, do this one, and do these guys as well, bam, and bam. And that is fine. Obviously, they're wide open right now, but um, I guess you would have something to close those. I don't know. Maybe we could just do this across the top anyway. There you go. So, like, they're little viewports to shoot out of. Um, I think that works. Let's want it in. Let's see what that looks like. Go inside. There we go. If we wanted to shoot a gun out of the tank, out of the tank, out of the vehicle, what do we do? We stand right here, and we can't really... <laughs> you can't really see, but yes, these do sort of work. Alright, you know what, we're gonna have the same thing in the middle as well, just because we can, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with these guys as they go downwards. There's one and two, one and two, and that is all we really need. Okay, well, I think I'm happy with this for right now. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Um, one of the things that I do want to mention is these wheels can't actually turn very much sideways. I'm hoping, I am very much hoping that, um... Oh, maybe we could just delete these, actually. Let's delete these guys right here, uh, and we'll do it sort of differently. Actually, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. Just delete these all the way to the end. There we go. Um, and it'll be okay. All right. Hopefully, these guys can still turn at least as much as they need to. Uh, and that's it. That's all we need. Okie dokie, so here it is on the back of our actual train. Um, it looks a little bit odd. Obviously, the cannons look way smaller than they, uh, the one right here, but this is the biggest cannon in the game, so that makes sense. Uh, I do want to add a little bit of length to that as well. Maybe, uh, like, two more um, sections. That'd be really cool. Um, but I don't mind the way this looks. I really don't. So let's go ahead and get inside. Actually, let's get the locomotive moving first, and then we'll get inside there. We'll see what we think of it, and it should be good. Okay, so on the inside, we need to add some lights and stuff like that. I do want to add some decoration around the outside as well, because I want it to look nicer. Um, but there we go. These are the cannons actually moving, and they do look pretty awesome. They do actually look sick. Yeah, nice. Let's go ahead and reload them real quick. So, uh, in order to do that, we need to press this button right here. Shove around in, go backwards. Grab around. Press the little button. Shove it in the gun, close the round door thingamabobby. Can I see out of this, by the way? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. We can barely see out the windows there, but that's okay. So, back on this. If we wanted to fire, we can. Just aim upwards a little bit. Three, two, one. Nice! Oh, they are aiming slightly wrong, aren't they? How have they actually got out of sync? I've put exactly the same thing into each of them. That makes no sense. How very confusing. Okay, so yeah, it's very basic at the moment. We need to add a little bit more detail to the sides right here. Probably to the sides down here as well. I, I don't really know how I want to go about doing that though, so we need to figure it out. Uh, but honestly, it actually looks like it's going to work pretty well. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.